Okay, so um, I was requested by my mum's twin sister, my aunt, to do a little workout for her. So this is for my my mum, all of my aunts, and my mother-in-law. But not only that, anyone who is the mature adult, 65 and above, this is for you guys. Okay, so if you're ready, let's do this. So as we get older, um, our muscle mass starts to shrink and as that diminishes, we start losing height. And you've seen this that, you know, um, the slightly older generation, they seem to get shorter and shorter and shorter. So what we need to do to compensate for that is to make sure that our muscles don't diminish, but not only don't diminish, we would like to even get them to grow. So I know this is fairly new for some people, but I'm going to start you on our six part tool exercise kit and then we're going to slowly, slowly move forward to it. And also another request that I've been told is you tell me what to do and we'll do it. So I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm going to do day one as your lower body and day two as your upper body. So day one can be repeated once a week, twice a week or three times a week. So you should either get two exercises, upper body, lower body upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, up to six different exercises in the week. And we're going to keep it very simple and we're going to do this on a daily basis. So the first thing I want you to do is just find yourself a nice wall and just swing your hips either side like this. So we're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. And I want you to do this with me, okay? So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Now, we're going to come. I really like to work on our hips and our shoulders because these are the two things that tend to go first before any of our other joints do. Why? Because we actually have a 360 degree rotation in our hips. We have a 360 degree rotation in our shoulders. So let's keep going. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is called a dynamic warm up. And after this dynamic warm up, we are actually going to be doing foam rolling but I'm not going to be doing the foam rolling because I need you guys to start this straight away. So our next thing is called CARS, controlled articulated rotations. So again what we want you to do is rotate through the joints. So all we're doing here is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Opposite leg. You're pushing back. Knee is bent all the way. We should be able to see a little contraction happening in our glute muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, whilst our hips are nice and loose and warm, we're going to carry on. So knee up to the side back, side, back, knee up, first to the side, out, back to the side, front, side, kick, back, back, side, kick, back, back. Try not to use your spine by doing one of these. Try and keep your spine neutral so you're working through the whole of your hip mobility there. Up, side, kick. Okay, maybe five of these are good enough. So side, kick, up, back. Side, kick, side, back. Side, kick, side, back. Okay, so we're going to carry on for two more. 
beautiful. And again, as we are getting more and more advanced into this, you can easily do this without using the wall. But if you have to use the wall, please feel free. We're going to use the wall just to give our body support. Remember, we're working on our lower body. It's not about balance right now. <coughs> okay. Now, third one. Just hip turns. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, opposite way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, so that's our cast on the control articulated rotations. So the first two parts were actually just warming up and getting all of your joints loose. Now we're going to actually move into the exercises. So the first part of the exercise is to make sure that we are doing a good quality squat. This will help you with your joint pains around your knees, around your hips, around your ankles. And I see a lot of people, they actually... When they come down, they use their knees to push forward. What I want you to do is just keep about 12 inches away. Either use your kitchen counter and hold it or come to the stairs and hold your stair railings. Now, I want you to come down, come down, come down, come down. Watch my knee. My knee is not moving. It's my glutes that are moving backwards. My knee is static in that one position. All I want you to do is do 10, 9, Try not to use too much pressure on your railings because you're trying to do this without railings. But to start off with, we're going to use the railings as a good counterbalance for us. Five, four, three, two, one. So you're going to do that 10 times twice. Okay, so let's get ready. Take your breath, grab, grab your breath, start again. Three, two, one, go. Ten, nine. Notice I don't come up all the way and lock my knees. I come up almost to a full finish, back down. When I come down, there's a 90 degrees between my thigh and my calf. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Beautiful. All right. So now whilst we finish that, you can take your breath, but I'm just going to move on to our calf muscles right here. Hold on to your railings with your fingers. Come up. Come down. Rock back. Come up. Come down. Rock back. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, come out with your toes either side of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and we're going to finish off with our toes pointing in. One, two, try and keep your balance all the time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So, remember we haven't used any equipment so far, so there is no excuses for you not to do this. All you need is a kitchen counter or a hand railing. So, we've worked on our quads, which was coming down here. Then we worked on our calf muscles. Now we're going to work on our hamstrings here. And all I want you to do 
is lie down on the floor here. And these are called glute bridges. All I want you to do is have the soles of your feet flat on the floor, your shoulder blades flat on the floor, raise your glutes up, bring them down. As soon as you feel the ground, it's time for you to come up. Touch, up, touch, up, touch, up. So again, we're gonna do 10 of these twice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so grab your breath. I'll just let you know that if you can't do 10 twice, do five twice, okay? But we need to do this on a regular basis to make sure that our muscle growth stays there. Not only that, we go through helping each one of our joints. The more you use it, in effect, the more you're lubricating it and the better your joints will be. Okay, ready? Second set of 10. Shoulders down, head down, get your glutes to come up. Nice deep breath in, touch, touch, touch. Notice I breathe in and breathe out when I come up. Seven, I think, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now whilst we're on the ground, I want you to work on your glute muscles and that's a nice and easy one. So all I want you to do is come onto your fours. Nice stance with your hands. So my wrists are underneath my shoulders. My knees are underneath my hips. So ready? So we're gonna come on here. We're gonna keep our knee bent and we're gonna kick up with our heel. Kick, 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 four, Five, take your time doing this. In fact, the slower you do it, the better it is. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our second set, we're just going to do clamshells. So it means come up, two, three, four, five, six. Notice how I'm twisting my hip, squeezing my glute muscles and getting a contraction there. Nine, ten, last set, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's your lower body workout done. I'm gonna give you a little bonus to start working on our core muscles because a lot of people lose the core ability and I want you to keep a good strong core. So how do we start on a good core exercise? It's really simple. All I want you to do is keep to your full position here I want you to kick either leg out. So let's do my left leg right now. I try and point it, I keep it parallel to the floor and I point my toe backwards. Next thing I want to do is raise my right hand up. I want you to hold this position. You're engaging all of your core muscles right here. And I want you to hold this for about 30 seconds. And then once you've done your 30 seconds here, push your opposite leg out, toe back opposite hand forward. So right now, my hand and my leg should be parallel to the floor. And I just hold that again for about 30 seconds. So after doing your exercise and part of our six part tool exercise kit, we need to do a little bit of a stretch. But before the stretch, I want you to come and do a couple of balancing routines. So the first thing is you can by all means hold the wall and I just want you to raise one foot off the ground and then gently let go and see how long you can hold that on. Our goal is 30 seconds per side. So as soon as you've done one side, we want you to come on to the other side 
Take a nice deep breath in. Hold. Close your eyes if it helps you focus. And then just let go and see if you can hold that for 30 seconds. If you can, well and good. And if not, come back onto the wall and just keep holding it until you're comfortable to let go. Maybe let go of one hand with the opposite hand to the opposite leg until you can feel that balance coming through. Okay, we need to work on our stabilizer muscles which are in, in, embedded into our hips, but we can only do that when we train our body to do balancing. Once we've done that, we can just come back forward and put one foot behind you, hands forward and just raise that foot off the ground and see if you can hold it. Once you've done that, put the other foot back, use your hands as a counterbalance and just come and raise and see if you can balance that. Again, for 30 seconds each. Once you've done the balancing routines, all I want you to do is just hold onto the wall, grab one ankle and just gently pull backwards to give your quad muscle a little stretch. Do that on both sides. Okay, and to stretch out your hamstrings, I just want you to keep your head nice and up. Don't let your head go too far below your heart, just so you don't feel dizzy and just gently push onto your knees so you get a tiny little stretch there. Come up nice and slow because when you come up too quick, it can make you a little bit dizzy. All right, now once you've done that, all I want you to do is finish off by putting your one foot onto the wall, raising the toes up and gently with your hips, just lean forward to stretch out your calf muscle one side, calf muscle opposite side. And there we have it, that's your whole routine. If you can do all of that in one day, you would have done great things to your benefit. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you can, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and family, put a like besides it, hit the bell notification button so it reminds you every time when I've got a new video out. So hopefully in a few days, I'll be doing the same kind of a routine, the six part exercise toolkit and we will be doing the upper body. So I hope to see everyone then. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.